So if you're Town Hall 11 and you just can't seem to get those final one star, you just continuously get the two stars, one star possibly, maybe a no star. This is just a small video, just kind of give you guys better army troop comps, little guidelines along the way. Obviously, you can see I don't get three stars every time. Then again, I don't get the troops I, I need every time. I prefer to get a golem donated and make 23 gold, 23 bowlers on my own. But as you can see, the clan doesn't always work like that. So that's cool. Show more of my successful attacks, obviously. Have no problem failing. This isn't necessarily the strongest Town Hall 11 that you'll find. Okay, yeah, I actually had to attack this guy because I accidentally dropped that wizard right there, so I kind of went with it. Start off with basic queen walk. Basic keys for queen walk is you do not want an air sweeper anywhere near. There's one. Where's the other guy? And there's the other. Which, these two at all, they're not going to affect my queen walk. So that's another positive. Another thing about queen walk. You don't want three defenses within the same vicinity. So down in this corner, that'd be a no-go. Because those three defenses right there would eat up my queen walk. I'd have to use her ability or a rage, which you necessarily don't want to do. You can do. It's not a bad idea, but better to save it for the basic army comp. Here I start my bowlers on this side just for a basic funnel. Kind of open up that top side, drop my troops down. The whole thing is you want to take out the eagle, art eagle artillery first. Move your troops in there. Easy freeze on those infernos. Easy funnel right there. Nice base setup. Queen's going to continue to walk. Everyone else is going to come in the inside though. You can see that. Obviously your Town Hall 11, you have the Eternal Tomb. I didn't need it right there because it was a little in front. Once you see that Inferno activating, activate the Internal Tomb. These bowlers are monsters. That is not what you want to see when you have bowlers though. And unfortunately my poison did not do much to them. But the healers actually kept them alive long enough and enough bowlers went to the outside to where it worked. Plus, like I said, this isn't the strongest Town Hall 11. This is mainly Town Hall 9, honestly Town Hall 9 defenses, which is kind of a shame. But as you can see, I didn't take out the CC, which is a huge thing really big deal take out the enemy CC but thankfully I had my Queen's ability I mean I knew I was gonna get it regardless but those CC could have really caused a problem so King Eric not very kingish I'll show you my 100% on defense too I think it's it's been a while but here we have Indramax here you can see it's pretty good this is actually a pretty good Town Hall 11 Really close to maxing out. Obviously has a archer tower working. Uh, Eagle artillery inferno is all maxed out. He's got his expo set to lower, so that'll interrupt the queen walk automatically. Yeah, there's pretty much that archer tower is the only thing holding him back from being maxed. Obviously, besides walls, it's this hero's queen's building, which is a big plus. Start on that top center. I knew right away, seeing how that last video. Or that last battle, I knew, I said, that you don't want to use the queen walk with three defenses. That's a lot of defense right there. I knew going into this battle that I was going to have to use the queen walk. But I actually wanted to walk down this left side so I can get to that inferno tower and that eagle artillery quicker. So here I'm actually willing to use a rage for that specific purpose. Plus it'll take a lot of defenses, not really a big deal. Queen does her work. I start the funnel down there. It's always nice if you can angle those bowlers to take out multiple points, which they usually do, that arch tower actually would have been taken out a lot quicker. But here, got the funnel down. There's nowhere for those bowlers to walk but in. Thankfully, no CC troops either. As you can see, the eternal tomb you want to keep in your back pocket in case there's a big gap for the bowlers. That was just a bad placement. But if there is a big gap for the Big bombs, big bombs, and bowlers do not get along. Those big bombs will destroy bowlers. I always keep four wizards and one minion. More for necessarily helping with the funnel or a cleanup. As you can see, look at those bowlers. Just doing work. 
Oh, there's the air sweeper. I told you he's a problem. Mainly for a queen walk. If he's in the center, sometimes they actually do good by knocking the healers out of damage contention. But as you can see, we'll speed this up a little bit. King's ability, he's going to take out all those defenses. He's raged for 10 seconds. He took out four defenses in his rage. So that always helps, not including a Mac. My queen still has her ability. She's going to do what she wants. She always does. But hey, you know. She's got to have backup. There he is. Alright, for some reason, these Grand Warden defenses are super strong. Do not underestimate them. So I did not want to take that chance because when they hit you, they hit hard. The thing is, their DPS is a little bit less than a Max Wizard. But he doesn't attack every second. He attacks about every two seconds. So you actually have to times his power by about two. As you can see, this is my basic army comp. I didn't have any CC troops to use. No one donated to me, unfortunately. But I like to use 18 bowlers, one golem, six archers, disregard, six healers. Usually four for the queen walk and then two for bowlers. But sometimes I do uh, two bowlers in the corner, two bowlers in the corner, and then use my army co tr uh, comp there in the middle. And then... Two healers on each side, so two on the bowlers, two on the bowlers, and then on the comp. Alright. That was the other. Let's see, King Eric, he went down. As you can see, this is a pretty solid Town Hall 11. Obviously, he's got some, he's got some work to do on those Archer Towers. He's a little behind the update, but he's getting there. Max Heroes, you know, lucky for him. I don't have Max Grand Warning yet. I've been playing this game for three and a half years, though, and I actually just got my King and Queen up in the last six months from level 25 to Max, and I want to do videos on how I did that to kind of give you guys a Dark Elixir, a little inside scoop, but I necessarily don't want to drop trophies right now. So I have my buddy Woolite. I actually showed him it. He's Town Hall 10. Mid 20s heroes, he wants to get them up because obviously they make the big difference, and he's using that. So I'll have him share a couple videos and I'll post them up, let you guys see them. That bomb right there, obviously, like I said, those big bombs will destroy the bowlers. Thankfully, there was only a couple in that vicinity. All right, big man's going down. That single infernal tower will take him out. But as soon as you see that infernal tower locked on the king, and you don't think he's gonna they're going to take out that defense. You might as well rage him. Get the most out of his ability. Alright, here I was lucky enough, obviously, to have a golem in the CC. When you have a golem in the CC in your Town Hall 11, you have 23 bowlers. As long as you funnel correctly, it's an almost guaranteed 3-star. Obviously, depending on, you know, how his troop layout is, what CC troops he has and everything. Watch his big bomb. Luckily, healers are there, and it's only one big bomb. There's two big bombs in one area. Those blowers are gone. Doesn't matter how much they're getting healed. Fast forward this a little bit. Another big uh, troop comp right now is the Mass Miner. I just actually I'm a couple. I think I'm a couple hours away from actually getting those maxed out right now, which is pretty nice. I'll do a couple more videos on those, show you guys how the Mass Miners go. Pretty good loot, not including the loot bonus I get for Titan 2 League, which is 300,000 each and 2,200. Dark Elixir, which I don't need Dark Elixir right now. That's why I donate so many golems. As you can see, 5,200 5, donations. Most of them are golems. I don't need them. So, let's see. Almost got max miners, which is nice because, you know, those obviously are more effective in different base layouts. And every single time I get three start on defense, let's see. If you're in Titan League, you know this struggle. You know it's pretty bad. Uh, I haven't been. There's one. And look at Mass Miner. I'll show you that. And there's another one, Mass Miner. <laughs> that one's actually a mid couple miners. And then some bowlers. Let's see, another Mass Miner, 48 miners. I don't even think I set a chance against that guy. That's actually a Mass Bowler. As you can see, Mass Miners, they're kind of taking over. I'd say they're the number one used troop, then bowlers, then Valks. But I prefer bowlers. Just they're so effective. They're taking out defenses behind. 
they're hitting multiple targets you know just big bombs let's sh I'll show you the downfall for the mass miners not that one I don't wanna I can't even show you the I can't even show these replays there I am wasting your time wasting my time let's see all right well actually I don't have any good defenses that would oh this guy actually would have if he just didn't ran in time all right now a thing I like to do this is my defense obviously my walls need work I've never really cared about walls too much people always overrate them because jump spell takes them out at the time hog riders were huge when I would didn't care about walls you know they jump them so why should I spend all that resource on on my walls and then hog riders faded out and then the jump spell came out don't worry about that jump spell came out so then again you know walls didn't matter at all the only reason why I'm to get my walls up now is because all my defenses are maxed out besides my traps and my air sweepers but they'll get in there all right so another thing I like to do if you're in Titan League Legend League Champions League whatever I like to set traps because a lot of people like to open up with Queen Walk right if you can somehow surprise their Queen look at that I put all my Inferno Towers right there I've had plenty of times where this little bowler getting electrocuted they drop the Queen right there before they even realize that all those in, uh, Teslas are right there the Queen's dead or they either have to pop her ability even with a queen walk I've had it to where they dropped a rage and used her ability which is a double bonus because that pretty much takes it out that takes it out of contention which you want the enemy to use her queen's ability right away as fast as possible because that could be the difference in the three star which honestly it was this was a high 80% alright so he does everything right funnels in Look at the bowlers just attacking everything behind it. Just such a good troop. I like to have my big bombs there for those open gaps, but two of them are upgrading, so he got lucky on that point. Queen takes out my Inferno pretty quick, as you can see. Those bowlers do work, I'm telling you, if you... I prefer them over miners. Obviously, I haven't mad had max miners yet, but I still prefer them. Like I said, where he slack, that could be the difference. I haven't been three star that much, as you can tell. I mean, I know it looks bad, but if you're in Titan League or Legends League or Champions League, even you know how it is, how hard it is for a defensive win. So I used to get three starred quite a bit, and it was actually really frustrating, annoying. But I decided to lay out that trap and that trap has been the difference so far we'll speed this up pretty sure it goes down to his grand warden right now he's just picking off useless buildings getting up that extra percentage once you get over 70 percent with the two star you get 100 percent of your league loot your league loot bonus so he didn't really care dropped it he knew he was getting his bonus got some pretty good loot for me not including that dark which i really don't care about but it's a pretty good attack on him all right this was my first YouTube video, so I'm gonna. I kind of wanted to do this because there's no good Clash of Clan YouTube video makers out there. I used to follow Clash with Ash, uh, General Tony. General Tony still does some good videos. I like him. I do follow Robert, the guy who always opens up with "Hi everybody." He's a super good attacker. He always pushes to number one. I'm almost to Titan or Legends League. Obviously, I'm a 500 away but I just started pushing trophies less than a month ago I was at 1500 because obviously I just maxed out my heroes so all right like I said it's my first video if you like subscribe drop a like button drop some comments on what you want to see I have a war that I'm going to show in my next video show you the war we just won it's for it'll show you town hall 11 attacks that we did successful on my end Town Hall 10 attacks that are good troop comps and Town Hall 9 attacks. So pretty much affects the general populace of everyone playing Clash of Clans right now in wars. We got super good attackers on our clan. Also, if you're looking for a clan, the undeserving. We look for loyal players, people who donate. We win a lot of wars. As you can see, 149 wins, 49 losses, 73 win percentage. We're always looking for people. Honestly, just come out here. We don't we're not looking for someone to bounce bounce back and forth real quick you know we're looking for loyalty but yep drop a like subscribe 
I'm looking to get this channel up. I like to show a lot more videos since the other Clash of Clan videoers kind of dropped out more into Clash Royale. That's not my thing. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, drop that love.